Good morning. North Georgia morning, 68 degrees. It's beautiful. I've done some stuff here. Uh, this is the unit that we were having AC drama. The dining room was warm. Hey, the dining room's warm again. It's an air balancing problem. Very straight up. I am not an air balancer. Uh, I do have uh, a two by two duct hood, CFM, right? Give me the plans, I can go through. It's not what I'm here to do. What I'm here to do today is to go through the exhaust hood system and the makeup air system and make sure from an equipment perspective, everything is functioning how it should be. And then use the tools we have, which are, they, they have air dampers, right? That we can adjust fresh air in and out. I'm pretty sure we have a blockage issue on the makeup air, which is, this is our makeup air system. So I'm gonna go through all this, make sure we're good and bring this building into balance because we're outputting like 60 degree air into the dining room and yet it's always humid and uncomfortable because the building's out of balance. So here Let's Look we at go. this blower wheel. The scoops are gone. Like, it needs to be clean. So here's a good trick to this. This side, I've started already. You can get your coil brush and you can work it this way as long as you have the ability to remove the blower. I don't want to introduce water to this, but I've got the blower cracked loose so that I can flip it over, fire it up, and blow that out, not down into the chimney. love that we missed the duct like there's the opening of the blower and you can see how we've got our blower blades now actually have scoops on them but we've got the duct opening cut almost in half you know what I'm saying the, the hole goes you know to here Here's what we mean by out of balance. This is just a piece of receipt paper, so it responds very well. So there's a rush of wind. You could probably hear it in the earpiece. So every time the dining room doors open, regardless of the AC trying to do its job, you get outside air coming in. I have not done an actual roof building analysis here. Look at that pulley and how misaligned. There you go, pardon me. <laughs> I looked at the sun. Hmm. Looked into the sun. Look at how off those pulleys are, man. That is big time undue burden on a belt. I don't know that I have much room to push it down. what I can do here. So I was doing it when I first got here too. So one, I've aligned the pulley, right? But it's got this, this wobble to it. And what it is, I've loosened the motor so I can get a, a bead on. This housing is, the 
bearing housing is allowed to move. And when you put tension on it with the motor, it pulls it to the left. And then we're rubbing over here a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can get these to rebite from underneath. Then it'll let us put real tension on the motor. Because I can't balance a building until you know the exhausts are running optimally, the intakes are running optimally, and the fans are all running optimally. All right, that's gracious. I had to drill some new holes, put some new bolt bolts all the way through to keep it where it needs to be. Oi, that shouldn't have taken that long. All right, let's see where we're at. Or should be real close. Tiny bit. Let's check the door. Yeah, a little bit more. Watch this. Let's turn this to heat. Get ready. Now, mind you, this is the large unit that they say is the dining room. System on heat. Let's give it a minute. So dining room video time. Look. AC. Remember, I got the heat on on the dining room unit, and yet all these dining room ducts are blowing AC all the way around the room. Uh-huh with the exception of this one right here. Because the big unit's here and that's its return. And there is one duct running to here. Other than that, the heating circuit is doing cashier alley and the kitchen. So that big giant unit is doing like six registers because now you're back to AC. Let me turn this off. All right, so what we found out is everything that you know is a lie. This is the big dining room unit. That's correct, but we've learned this is not the dining room. This is the front half of the kitchen. I know that because I turned on the heat, right? And watched where it came out. So they were concerned this always said 76, but this probe is in the corner of the kitchen. This probe, this is the small left-hand unit, and this is the remote temperature probe of the dining room. So, that, and the dining room is beautiful right now. And more into balance. Sorry, I've been dealing with belts and stuff. Uh, and then this, it's funny, says hood sensor, but that's the one in the kitchen, that's not right. So this is the sensor just outside the office, and that's the hood sensor, so. Boy, we're gonna roll with this, see how the day behaves. And at least now, they were very concerned, because this used to say 72 all the time, and now it says 75. But I also brought in more fresh air into this unit thinking this was the dining room. So I have su I've since remedied that and I'm bringing lots of fresh air into, let's see, I'm bringing lots of fresh air into the big unit, right? Because it can handle it with the two stages. I'm out putting 53 degree air right now. So I'm gonna let this pull down and see what happens, but crazy morning guys.